now that we've had our coffee, time to head to the airport. Welcome back, family travelers. We're happy you're here. It's like 11 o'clock at night, and Brittany and I are hanging out. Friday night. We've been reading Point Sky articles about Priority Pass uh, and American Express parting ways with the restaurant benefits. Um, we'll get into that in a minute. But we got to take a last second trip to take advantage of our credit card benefits. So we are going to take a nice little out and back tomorrow. We're going to do a little bit of non-rev action. And we're going to try to hit St. Louis. So back to the Priority Pass. There's kind of uh, lounges and then there's restaurants. And at the restaurants, you get $28 a person. Um, but American Express isn't offering that anymore, and they're super bummed. So it's so a race bummed. to get it. Anyway, we're going to St. Louis, 50 state goal. So yes. we gotta cross Missouri, Missouri off. off the list. We're leaving the yes. airport, it counts. It will, it, we're not gonna count it if we never leave the airport, but since we are in fact going to leave the airport, we're counting it tomorrow. Yes, we are. So tomorrow we're gonna show you a little bit of uh, how we non-rev uh, an out and back. We're gonna show you the priority passes. We're gonna show you the arch. And we're just gonna have a fun day. Yeah. We're excited. So we gotta go to sleep. Cause yeah. our flight's in like seven hours. Yeah, we should get to bed. Good night. For us, it's just a quick drive to the airport and a oh, short yeah. little bus ride. Printing tickets that don't really mean much. A quick stroll through security. Moving walkway to get to the other side of the airport. Then we have to run through the airport because we are cutting it close with our plane. And now it's time to board the plane. Yeah. We made it. That was a fast journey. So we just landed in St. Louis. We're taking the shuttle from Terminal 1 to Terminal 2 because that is where the Priority Pass restaurant is. We flew all this way just to go and use our benefits before they expire. So that's what we're going to do, even if it's a pain in the bottom to do and going through security twice. We're not in Kansas anymore. This is insane. This line for security is just... We just came from Chicago. <laughs> that's saying something. minutes later we've made it through security and to the pasta house for priority pass restaurant one of two we're getting our eat on today we just sat down actually our first item has arrived we got some thin crust pizza apparently st. Louis is famous for their thin crust pizza so Olivia is giving it a go she got a sausage pizza we're gonna try that the other thing that we ordered aside from a couple sandwiches the toasted ravioli so when we were looking at places to eat here we heard there are two things we should get in st. Louis ribs which unfortunately I don't think we're gonna have time for but the other is a surprising one. It's toasted ravioli. Apparently, toasted ravioli originated from St. Louis, which we had no idea until we came across that when we were just browsing on the internet. There's a little bit of dispute, but legend has it that somebody, one of the restaurants around here, accidentally dropped a ravioli into a fryer, and the rest is history. So we're gonna give that a go. I think it's, oh, go ahead. It's right here. It's, it's there, yeah. Look at all this food. How am I gonna eat over this child's head? I don't know. We're gonna make it work. What'd you get? I got a nice spicy chicken sandwich with bacon on it. Holy, holy moly, this is gonna be difficult. You're about to see some super dad moves here. Holy moly, okay. If you've watched any of our videos from like Japan, which, go back and do that. We don't wait for our food to cool. It's delicious though. Which do you like better, Chicago style or St. Louis style? St. Louis style. St. Louis style? Yeah. What do you want in Chicago? Unless Olivia, she's staying in St. Louis. She's not coming home to Chicago with us. St. Louis style or Chicago style? Unlike my daughter, good taste. It is good pizza but it's not Chicago style. 
Give it a try. These are famous around here. Do you like it? She seems kind of indifferent, but I'm gonna give it a try. Let's try this toasted ravioli now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Actually, when we ordered it, I wasn't sure what was going to be inside. I didn't know if it was going to be meat or cheese. This one is a meat one, and I'm not disappointed. Overall, you know, we don't typically order fried ravioli. We make them at home, but we don't order them. This is pretty tasty. Okay, St. Louis. The pasta house doubles as a brewery. Alcohol is definitely included in this. It's just $28 off your bill. If you have a uh, guest, it's 56 So drink up and eat up. We get to go to a park. We're going to a big park. Big. Restaurant one of two down. We're taking a little break. We're gonna go and head to the uh, Arches National Park. Probably spend about a half hour there, maybe half hour, hour, and then we're heading back to the airport to fly it home. I think we might be the only people on the planet that literally just enjoy being at the airport. Saddled with children. Welcome to the Gateway Arch. What are you doing? Do you want to run? All right, she wants to run. So we're gonna, we're gonna find a way to put her down. So I don't know if you've seen it before. That's the Gateway Arch. It's a monument to westward, westward expansion of the United States. Tallest monument, I think, in the Western Hemisphere. It's almost 700 feet tall. That thing's huge. It is super cool, super cool. It was built in the late 60s. She's just rolling on through. But you know what, this totally counts for our 50 states quest, so Missouri? I'm gonna count it. Missouri? We got you. Check. Brittany threw a little check mark up on the screen. Anyway, we're gonna keep running around. It's hot here. So, Missouri in the summer, really, really hot, if you didn't know that. It's like 90 degrees. Libby! How was it? Are you going back for round two? I can't even tell if this is good or not. Well, if it's not a good picture, I don't even know, but check this out. I'm like, that's so awesome. It's probably overexposed as heck. She's at the top of stairs. That's how she rolls. How many feet do you think that thing is? Ten feet? You think it's 10 feet or is it bigger? Bigger? How big? This big. This big? That big? Yeah. Is it bigger than a dinosaur? Yeah. It's bigger than a pig? Yeah. All right, we are back for round two. This time, we are at the pasta house, which you might be thinking, hey, you were just at the pasta house this morning. Well, there are two pasta houses. This one is land side, the other one was air side. But, good thing to know, if you have priority pass, you can use the same restaurant just two hours later. We wanted to try a different one, kind of mix things up, but know that that option is available to you. You just have to wait two hours, and you can go back in. Whoa. She's just going right in for it. Okay, that must. Really hot, really. This this might just be like this is a, a, a family on standby thing where yeah. we just don't wait. This is a trend, even we for just... children. How are they, guys? Good. I mean, it's your standard fried cheese stick. Okay. Here she is. We're at the pasta house, yeah, so you gotta get pasta if you're at the pasta house. It's a little heavy if you're having a travel day, 
So we got a couple and we're gonna split it. We're not doing quite the spread that we did this morning. Um, so I recommend sharing, maybe getting a couple appetizers because the pastas are a little heavy if you go with the kinds that we got at least, but it is delicious. Nick just took Everett to the bathroom. Yet again, this is why we always bring backup clothes. We always need it. I'm told that Brittany's concerned that we might look, you know, a little snooty with like the priority pasta. But it's a totally approachable thing. We actually did a two minute travel tip that turned out to not be close to two minutes. That you should go back and watch. And we talk about the value of it for traveling families. So you should definitely do it. But the, the synopsis of it is four times a year, pays for itself. Definitely worth your investment. All right, but we got a flight to catch. So we're gonna go. Olivia is afraid to give this guy a hug, but she wants to because she's afraid. His name is China China. China! Give him a hug! Yeah. Why not? How will you help me? You want me to help you? You can do it! You can do it! You gave him a hug! So now that we've gotten through security, now we walk to the gate where we wait, and 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 we wait, until 15 minutes before the flight takes off. So whatever the flight departure time, 15 minutes before that is when we know generally if we're gonna get a seat. I don't like that one. You don't like the one that we're gonna get on? That, I, I like that one. Oh, okay, good, that's the one we're gonna ride. And then? Magic happens, and they give you boarding passes that make a difference. We got seats, it's time to get on the plane. And then you get to board. Hi, Mr. Everett. get to relax for 55 minutes. All right, what an easy day in Mount Rev was this. I mean, we picked it because it's a, a wide open flight, but we didn't have to like stress, we didn't have to like think about alternative plans. We just knew we were gonna get on the flight. Normally it's a little bit harder than that. Uh, so now is the easy part. You get to hang out, relax, wait till we get home, and we're gonna put the head in the books for an hour and back. Everyone else is like sleeping. I'm still hungry. guys we're back Nick is putting the kids to bed we had a great day it was super fun but these out and backs are exhausting we're about to head to bed but we just wanted to say thanks for watching and if you want to see more of these adventures we do a lot of these out and backs pretty regularly so follow along and I'm sure we'll have one coming up soon Good night.